हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड डिस्कस्ड विद द सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ मॉड्यूल 5 रिलेटेड टू कन्वोल्यूशनल कोड्स वेयर वी हैव सीन द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू टाइम डोमेन एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन अप्रोच विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द कन्वोल्यूशनल कोड्स व्हिच इज प्रोवाइड व्हिच वाज प्रोवाइडेड टू यू ओके सो दोस आर नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो इट इज अवेलेबल इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट इटसेल्फ so in this video we are going to be discussing with one more important concept which i'm going to be explaining you so you should be listening very carefully because uh, this is very important okay because in the exam also there are high chances that they might be asking this question okay so the question is uh, so the topic is related to state table state transition table and how we could be drawing the state diagram okay in this video i'll explain that you, your job is to listen to this video very carefully till the end okay whatever points i tell whatever the things i tell if you understand it very well you could be easily drawing the state tables state transition tables and state diagrams for any of the problem given okay that's why i have thought to do only this one single video where i i would be covering all the concepts related to state diagrams so please listen to it it might be a bit lengthy so don't skip any part of the video guys okay it is very 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 important okay so before you move further just like this video so yeah let us uh, start with the concept of state table state transition table and state diagram okay so for this you should be considering one simple encoder circuit of the order n comma k comma n m s 2 comma 1 comma 3 okay it indicates that there are two modulo 2 adders which are present here uh, one message bit at a time and three flip flops or shift registers okay so based on the this uh, uh, order we have drawn this circuit here 2 2 comma 1 comma 3 here we have given taken two outputs x1 and x2 so here you see you could see uh, from the flip flops or the shift registers m m1 and m2 for x1 all these three are going so that's why x1 would be m plus m modulo 2 sum with m1 plus m2 okay same goes for x2 as well uh, m and m2 branches are meeting here at x2 point so m plus m2 okay so these are the conditions initially we have taken first you should be defining a state table state table definition is a uh, like uh, it's not that much complicated you could be easily defining a state table of the order 2 that is we are you should be considering two registers that is m1 and m2 and this bit m is there right that is your input bit through which the message is going to be traveling okay so that cannot be considering at the, at the state table so the two registers which you need to be considering are m1 and m2 so based on two registers we are having four combinations in total that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and for each combination you should be defining one state here okay so that state i've defined here that is for 0 0 i've defined it as state a for 0 1 i've defined it as state b for 1 0 i've defined it as state c and for 1 1 i've defined it at state d okay like this for all the four combinations these four states have defined now with respect to the values that is uh, which is present here m m1 and m2 you write the sequence and try to get the values for x1 and x2 okay so this is optional but still if uh, regardless of that if you uh, do this it is well and good okay nothing much you have written the m combinations of m m1 and m2 and uh, three bits are there so eight combinations so 0 0 0 0 0 1 up to 1 1 1 and I have substituted the values, uh, I have calculated the values of x1 and x2 with respect to this condition provided, okay. For m, m1 and m2, all these three you should be adding and whatever answer you get, you write it here for all the combinations. For x2 also, these are the set of answers which I have got it here, okay. Pause the video and refer it. So this is optional. Now, the state table part is done. Now you need to be knowing the concept of state transition table, okay. So listen to this very carefully again I am telling it is very important focus on this page as well as this page simultaneously while I explain okay so yeah. So in order to be building a state transition table first thing is you need to be writing these many parameters in the table okay that is m m1 m2 the two outputs x1 x2 present state and the next state okay so now just i'll explain what and all is written initially in this table here firstly there are four combinations with respect to the state tables that is 
M is the input provided as I've told you from this M the input sequence is getting entered okay so that for that have a, so this you kept keep it separately now you focus on M1 and M2 see here with respect to the state table defined I have written all four combinations twice here that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 I have written twice okay why because I am testing this these values of state table in order to get the next state for both the bits that is when the input entered if it is 0 or 1 okay so that's why for 0 I have written one set and for 1 I have written one set for each of them okay so like that I have defined it so this is clear right and present state present state means whatever state we have defined that is for 0 0 the state is A so that's why twice I have written A B C and D simultaneously okay so this is clear now how we you need to be finding the next states as well as the outputs okay output finding is uh, nothing much whatever these expressions is there you could be writing that directly okay so let us uh, write that output first and then let us see how you should be finding the next state okay so yeah let us start now x1 x2 from this you see here first find the values of x1 that is m m1 and m2 you should be summing all up okay so this is 0 this is 1 I have told you one trick right previously that is how you could be calculating this this is modulo 2 sum right so when, when, whenever there are even number of ones the result would be 0 and whenever there are odd number of ones the result would be 1 okay so that you could be saving your time simply if you calculate and set it is waste okay so yeah do that only here there are 1 so it is 1 here also 1 so 1 is repeated twice so this is 0 this is 1 this is 0 this is a 0 and this is 1 okay similarly now for x2 we should be considering m plus m2 that is m1 you should be neglecting only you should be focusing on m and m2 so first is 0 then it is 1 then it is 1 then 1 1 that is 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 okay like this you should be finding all the values first of x1 and x2 now the trick is to find the next states okay how you should be finding the next states you see here you should be understanding that the present state is already defined in order to be finding the next state you should be doing the next shift that is you consider this diagram here here what I am doing is this is the input provided to uh, to this right so now consider the first uh, first case that is 0 0 0 I'll just write it here 0 0 0 okay now only I'll, I'll explain first two cases then rest of the rest of them I'll just dictate it here only okay so in order to make you understand I'm just writing it so 0 0 0 with respect to these positions I've written it here now what I should be doing is in order to find the next state you should be shifting one one values that is this 0 would be coming here this 0 would be coming here and this 0 whatever is present that would be going out that is this would be coming here now this would be coming here and this 0 would be eliminated so now here this is the next state that is m1 m2 whatever is present after shifting in m1 and m2 that would be your next state that is you see here in m1 and m2 what are the values present 0 0 and 0 0 corresponds to which state state a so that would be the state a when m is equal to 0 okay so this is this is clear right now the same thing for m is equal to 1 0 0 then now you change it again 1 0 0 now again do one shift that is this one would be coming here and this 0 would be coming here so the new values present in m1 and m2 are 1 and 0 right after shifting so that's why 1 and 0 corresponds to which state 1 and 0 corresponds to state c right so that's why here when m is 1 and when the combinations are 0 0 in m1 m2 the next state would be c okay like this you should be performing now again now consider 0 0 1 okay so i'll just write it below here 0 0 1 okay now you see here do one shift this 0 would be coming here this 0 would be coming here so that's why now the two values present in m1 and m2 are 0 and 0 okay so that's why now 0 and 0 which state it is state a so this would be state a when input is 0 now next combination you consider 1 0 1 the same thing 1 0 1 so if you do the shift this one would be coming here 
and here zero was there previously that zero would be coming here so that's why the new combinations are one zero so one zero is in which state again state c so this would be state c okay similarly for the next combinations also you do the same thing zero one zero if you if you consider zero one zero so if you do the one shift here this zero would be coming here and here one is present so that one would be coming here so the new values present in m1 and m2 are zero and one oh and zero and one corresponds to which state state b so that's why when input is zero this is the b state here and the same thing one one zero you consider and now shift one bit that is uh, this one would be coming here and this uh, one which was present here would be coming here so now m1 and m2 corresponds to 1 1 right so that 1 1 is in which state that is in state d so that's why the new state would be state d similarly now 0 1 1 again 0 1 1 you consider and here after doing the shift this 0 would be coming here and here 1 was present previously that 1 would be coming here so now the new values are 0 1 okay 0 1 corresponds to state b okay similarly for the last combination 1 1 1 do the shift because since all the three bits are same if uh, one and one if it comes here and here previously one was there one would be coming here so one one is present and one one corresponds to state d okay like this you should be trying to be analyzing the state transition table here and you should be finding the present states and next states okay based on the present states and next states also based on out inputs uh, whether the in bit is zero and one Along with the outputs, these parameters are essential in order to draw the state diagram. Okay, so that I'm going to illustrate now how to draw the state diagram. For that, you require this state transition table. By seeing this only, you could be drawing the state diagram. Okay, otherwise, the drawing of state diagram is difficult. So let us see now how to how we need to be drawing the state diagram. First, consider the four states. You write it like this here in this order. Whenever you are having four states, you mention it like this because. Uh, this is the standard way of representing in the state diagram that is a b c and d okay first thing you do this now in order to represent zero i should be drawing the bold line for zero and dotted line for one okay so this is a standard way again if you want to represent uh, zero you should be drawing the bold line and uh, one you should be drawing the dotted line. okay now next is check the present state and next state that is Start from A itself, when present state is A for the combination uh, 0, 0, when input is 0, the next state is also A itself. Okay, so that's why you should be drawing when M is equal to 0, it is represented boldly. So from A to A itself, you draw one path here and you here in this path only you should be mentioning the output of that path. That is A to A, whatever output is there, that is 0, 0, right? So that you should be writing above that line whatever you have drawn okay like this you should be doing S similarly for all of all of this now the same thing when m is equal to 1 present state is a next state is c so it you should be representing that dotted lines because input is 1 okay so and the output corresponding to that is 1 1 and a to c you should be mentioning the path also from a to c this is the path you should be mentioning next is again when input is 0, present state is B, next state is A. So from B to A, since input is 0, you should be drawing the bold line with this direction and the output corresponding to this is 1, 1. Right? Similarly, when input is 1, present state is B, next state is C. So that is, you should be mentioning that in the dotted lines B to C and the output corresponding to that is 0, 0. Okay, next again, when input is 0, present state C, next state is B. Therefore, from C to B, you should be drawing the bold line with the path from C to B and the output corresponding to that is 1, 0. Okay, next again, when input is 1, present state is C, next state is D. So, from C to D, draw a dotted line, okay, because the input is 1 and the output corresponding to that is 0, 1. Next, when input is 0, present state is D, next state is B. So therefore, from D to B, you should be drawing the bold line and the input corresponding to that is, output corresponding to that is 0, 1. And when input is 1, present state is D, next state is D. So you should be drawing the 
loop here that is from d to d itself okay that is you should be drawing in dotted lines because the input is 1 so draw this loop and the output corresponding to that is 1 0 so in this way the state diagram is drawn by seeing the state transition table and in this way state transition table is built by doing the shifts here one by one shifts based on the present state and next state and these combinations of inputs and outputs for the given condition here in this it, they would be asking different kinds of problems where they would be giving you different uh, sets of values for x1 and x2 and the circuit also would be different completely different but this is for one example i've uh, told you in order to understand the state diagram so that's why please uh, understand this very well if you understood to understand to draw the state diagram easily all other problems you could be doing it okay so that's why i did i thought to do only one problem because uh, to avoid confusion so that's why for the, the upcoming concepts also that is related to trellis diagram and uh Witterby algorithm Witterby decoding algorithm that also i'm doing only one example if i do multiple problems you would be getting confused so that's why just try to understand this one example correctly of each concept then you could be understanding and adapting to all other examples as well okay so hope you understood this concept of state diagram please please understand it guys because this is very important it's a fixed question okay from module 5 so that's all for this video guys in the next video we'll see with the concept of trellis diagram okay yeah that's all guys thank you